Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over um, using other lines on our spreadsheet or CVS, CSV file. So in other words, before we got this number and we added six and then got this number, this number plus six and got this number. Okay, so what we're gonna try to do now, add another column, so that would be zero, one, two, three, four, five, one more column, and we'll go ahead and like get this number plus or this number plus this number one of these um, or this number this number it, it could be anyone but add numbers from other columns and put it on there and add the sum right there because that's many times what you do with spreadsheets you add this number this number subtract this number and stuff like that so if you look at this you automatically have to say okay what is going to be a number and what is going to be a string, right? So uh, off the bat, you do have to be a little bit careful. So that's just something as a developer, you're going to want to keep that in mind before you even start the program. Where are the potential problems I'm going to actually um, run into? Then you could always type the asserts and the tries and stuff like that, okay? So let's do this. Um, list CS, okay, so we, we had this before, okay? Um, we had this, the CSV file itself, and print. So, so all I'm going to do is, and this is the CSV file right here, right? So what I'm going to try to do is add, let's just say, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 from the previous one and the current one and get the sum right here. So this plus this and put another column right here. Right off the bat, you know, this one is not going to have a value. What we're going to put there, I don't really know. What do you want to put there? I'm going to just put a null right inside of there. So what I'm going to say is after we're done with everything at the very end or in the, even the very beginning, um, CSV 0 dot add null. So I'm going to add null to this guy right here. Then the rest, since there is a previous one, I'm going to do some this one minus 1 right there. So row 2 minus 1, so row 1. Add those together and add a column. Number, again, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, four, five, column five, okay? So let's write this out. Here I'm going to do another loop, but I can't really do a um, uh, an iteration, uh, iterable loop. So I can't do a um, row in CSV. And the reason for that is because it's not as easy, it's not impossible, but not as easy in my view to access the previous one. So you can't do a row minus one inside of there. There are ways to do it, but the easiest one to do is just this way. Good old fashioned regular loop. Int column four equals CSV I. So these are integers. Inside of here, we learned that from the last video. If it's not, this is going to crash. No problem. All right. So it's going to get CSV I, row I, so it's going to start with 1, not 0, 0, 1. So it's going to start with line 2, identifier number zero, number 1, okay? 1, and then row 4, and then we're going to make a row a column 4 and column 5, okay? So this is going to be CSV this one plus the previous line, I minus one, so this is going to be row zero, and we're going to add that value, and we're going to add that and make it a fifth column, and so then, and we're going to add this null, print this out. Let's see what it happens. Okay, so we see Aliyah Abbott's fine, 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 null, right? Then here we're going to get this value, this, and then it's going to be this plus this. So let me let me actually create a file here let's so let's save it onto the drive itself see it's not being saved here yet because I didn't want it to be let's run it there we go and we're gonna go here and so this is gonna be null okay you don't have to do that you could have left it blank so it's gonna be this is gonna be zero one two three four this plus this, so 2,112. So this is this plus this. You could have done this plus this. I mean, this plus this equals this. So you could have done anything. You could have done divided by. We could have done a bunch of different possibilities. But so when you think about how it is, once you get a list, 
it's pretty straightforward enough just to get the list and manipulate it as long as you know and as long as you keep in mind that the row is first and the column is next. Okay, so this is a pretty straightforward video in terms of how to manipulate it. I, I think there's other ways. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. I think once we have the concept down, the rest follows from there. Okay, thank you.